Uh, right now I'm sitting down on my slightly over one year old Ryobi riding lawnmower that I got the 480E which has got the 75 amp hour batteries in it. Uh, we're all having trouble with you know how long it cuts. The short cutting time is due to the batteries are sulfated uh, and that may be cause because how long they sat on the shelf before we purchased the lawnmower. Uh, it could be uh, during the winter time. Uh, we're not doing the batteries any favor when you're f you're charging the batteries when the temperature is below freezing. AGM batteries shouldn't be charged when the temperature is below freezing. Yet, if you look at the Ryobi manual, they'll tell you to leave it charged, leave it plugged in all the time. Well, these batteries here are trying to accept the charge when it's freezing and it's it's de degrading the batteries. With that being said. You know, I decided that I'm going to just get away from the AGM batteries. I love the lawnmower itself. It, it works and cuts the lawn very well. Uh, it takes me to cut my lawn anywhere between an hour and 10 to an hour and 30 minutes to cut the lawn. Uh, depending on, you know, how long the grass is and, uh, you know, if it's damp or not. But... Uh, with the batteries in the AGM, I, I mean, I wasn't lasting uh, 40 minutes uh, towards the end. I did buy another charger, uh, I, as I've told many of you, that I bought a NOCO charger, which does do a repair cycle to try and desulfate the batteries. And it did extend the batteries for some time until it got very hot in the summer. And then I, I had some major difficulties. Uh, it would last only 40 minutes. So that's when I decided, okay, that's it, I'm just going to break down. I love the lawnmower itself. So I, I did some research for um, batteries and ran across the what they call lithium uh, iron phosphate batteries or LiPo batteries. Um, those batteries uh, have a much longer uh, uh, lifetime. Uh, they, you can charge them and, and, and recharge them from 100 to 0 uh, up to 2500 times depending on the, on the make of batteries you get. And if you, you're only using a 50% or less of the uh, depth of dis, the discharge on the batteries, you can, get, you can lengthen that time to you know, three, four, and 5,000 uh, cycles. So I decided that I was gonna replace the 75 amp hour batteries that are in the lawnmower right now, which should be giving me two hours, and replace them with a uh, battery of 60 amp hour for uh, lithium uh, LiPo battery. Uh, with that, I've completed that task. It led me to another problem, not a problem, an, an issue, because the uh, the lithium batteries don't drop off and, and show a, a serious depth of deep discharge in voltage. The voltage will stay constant for quite a period of time, and as it gets to the end, and you're getting to 95 to 98 percent, it'll drop off shortly, uh, very swiftly. However, with the AGM batteries that was always a gradual decline and that's why on the meter you had we had on the uh, the motor itself it would actually show you the voltage and you could see the voltage meter being the drop and you know that you're you're getting close to the end where the battery's going to uh, fail but when I switched the batteries over to the lipo I could finish cutting the lawn in an hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes and it would still show show 100% full 12 vol volts on the battery so what I started to do was, during the charging cycle, I put a watt meter on the charger itself, on the uh, pulling the power in, just so I could see how much power I was pulling from the circuit, from the uh, from the grid, in, and putting it into the lawnmower. It ended up it was like 1.69, 1 1.7 uh, uh, kilowatt hours or kilowatts. And with that being said, that that sh probably shows we're probably, I'm probably using somewhere around. 35 between 30 and or 32 and 35 amp hours. I also noticed with the uh, lithium ion batteries is or the lithium uh, phosphate batteries is that you, you don't get that uh, loss of power as, you, as you're going. It keeps 100% of power all the way through. Uh, and like I said, as I looked at the voltage and it's not dropping, the only way I could measure how much power or how much I was using was using a watt meter on during the charging cycle and of course any deficiencies in the charger itself and transfer into the lawnmower 
would all be accounted for on one number. What I had to do was it was change the meter, and I went to an ammeter, which I purchased off of Amazon. And um, below, I'll leave links below to you know the Noco charger, the uh, the Cambat batteries, which are the lithium batteries I purchased, and also the uh, ammeter, uh, uh, so that you if you want to purchase those, you you can do that or find something similar. Uh, so with that, when I put the ammeter in, and I, I'm going to give you a shot of the ammeter, it's a huge difference now. Now I can see the voltage, I can read the amps I'm, I'm drawing, I can see how many amp hours at the end, or at any, at any point, uh, how much I've used. And it also gives you a percentage of the battery you've used, based upon uh, amp hours, which is nice. Now I get a lot more information that's useful. It's not the same style of uh, gauge where you get the light up lights. But it actually gives you a digital readout, and I uh, just have to. There's a menu button you can press, and it lets you switch between the different uh, uh, menu options. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I, I'm on the lawnmower. I'm going to take it out of my workshop, and we'll take it out. I'm going to show you uh, the ammeter itself. I'm going to show you exactly how much power you use when you turn on the blades and let them run. You'll be able to see the amp, amps that are being pulled. I'll also. Uh, Try and take a little drive. It might be a little pumpy, but uh, I'll drive with the blades on to see how much power is being used when uh, all three motors are operating. Now, uh, one thing to bear in mind with the drive motor, if, if you've got a lot of uh, hills that you're climbing, you're going to pull more power. If you're going faster, you pull more power. I've noticed in, in the time I've been running, I'm pulling somewhere between the blades just running, say around 16 to eight, 18 amps. And then uh, say 24 to as high as 30 amps uh, with all three motors running. Uh, again, depending on the speed and whether I'm climbing up a hill, uh, it, it makes a difference. But through the average throughout the entire cutting of the lawn, um, and I mow about an hour and 10 to uh, hour and half hour, hour and a half, I, I'm getting, I'm only using about uh, 28 uh, amp hours, which I'm using less than half the battery which means I'm going to get a lot of longevity out of these batteries. All right, so uh, just hang on a moment. We're going to pause here, and I'm, I'll let you look at the ammeter as I pull the, the lawnmower out, and we'll turn the blades on, and we'll do it for a little run. Okay, at this point here, I've got the lawnmower on, and I'm trying to hold the camera steady here. I'm going to try and go through the different options here. Let's go with the, the pushing this button here. This gives me the voltage that's in there right now. It shows 53.67 volts. I just finished charging it. If I press this button here, it'll show me the amount of amps being used right now, which is only 0.313 because we're not really going anywhere. This here shows exactly the amount of amp hours I still have left, which is 59.99. And if I push over on this button here, the final button, that shows me the percentage I've got left in the battery. So let's, let's switch this over so we're reading the, the amount of amps that we're using. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull the, uh, the button and we'll start the blades and we'll see what happens. I am really satisfied with the cut, the speed, the length that I get out of the lawnmower. And to be honest with you now, with these lithium uh, uh, phosphate batteries in there, I'm, I probably got batteries that will last, uh, outlast me uh, because I'm only using 50% of the battery and so the state of discharge or the depth of discharge is, only, is less than 50%. It will give me a longevity to the batteries. Um, I will... Uh, be putting together a video. I did videotape as I was making the changes, uh, installing the batteries and so on. 
Uh, I'll show you that. Uh, now, it's, I'm going to talk quickly about the old batteries. The old batteries are, I'm going to guess, maybe two to three of them are are good. They just need to be uh, desulfated, which I'm working on now. Uh, I have a uh, charger which does that, another NOCO charger <laughs> by chance, but uh, I'm using that. And I'm having great success bringing those batteries back, so I'm hoping I, I can get them back to uh, 80 plus percent of the original and then one either use them in a solar project which uh, uh, is possible or uh, uh, selling them and getting back uh, my money back uh, part of the money back that I paid in the the lithium anyways uh, thank you very much and uh, all right till next time